something out of my goddamn nightmares. Michael Kruger has descended on the murder box. Now, my broadcast partner, Rocco McSweets, wants me to explain. He wants me to describe the murder box to you, late, you people at home. The murder box, in a word, brutality. In another word, carnage. The murder box, ladies and gentlemen, when you step into the Roxy Theater, the aroma of pennies, the aroma of copper from the amount of blood spilled is all that you smell. IWC fans, I don't know what the fuck we're watching, but as you know, I'm one man, unique, unedited, unscripted, raw dog for you to fans, here on Guardian of Chaos, the YouTube channel for Chaos Corner, drop an elbow on that like and let's experience something that in my opinion is not pro wrestling, thank you to the OTS Tribal Queen, and my brother from another mother, Austin Nance, for holding it down, keeping it real, and maintaining the hardest working YouTube channel in the IWC. Nobody works harder for you than I do. Let's check this out. Wow. I present everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly, here on Guardian of Chaos. And this is going to be chaos. This is from the Roxy. No wrestling ring. They're, they're bringing in uh, they're bringing in the doors the outside there we've got doors we'll stay with this as long as possible got fans your heart desires we even got a fight of class and some death match offerings in this match i don't know what he just you said me, Larry. but i think he said it this is what they call the death match gods. I, I, I have no idea, man. This isn't my daddy's pro wrestling, my grandpappy's, or even mine. But I had to see these two behemoths in action. And there's the bell. I don't know what to expect here. But I'm going to turn it down and just sit back and, I don't know, have a cup of coffee or something. Leave a comment in the premiere chat or on the replay. Let me know what the fuck you think of this. Certainly outlaw. We are fully underway here. Four very accomplished slave to the vet deathmatch veterans. Oh yeah, Gregor the Gregor the Crack. Get him get it out of my mouth right now. Gregory Wayne. Exactly. This Texas werewolf. Turning to place of the death match. Thunderous shots right now from Satu Jim to start things off. Headbutts from Michael Kruger. Death match beef fully in control right now. Team Denim versus Team Beef. I'd say that's an understatement. Oh, God! A lot of beef going in that door. Looked like 10 pounds of sausage in a 3-pound bag. What'd I say? No offense, man. Lighten up. K-Fade! Shining knees to the face, those Irish knees. As an Irishman, I will tell you 
And look, it looks to be a capacity crowd there at the Roxy. People will go and see and watch and pay for anything. I just found this to be of, of human interest. I hate to interrupt you broadcasters, but this ain't wrestling. I can appreciate it for what it is, but this ain't pro wrestling. This ain't even carny shit. It's strictly for entertainment purposes, uh, YouTube. No copyright, please. No copyrights. Those light tubes are very dangerous. Very dangerous. You guys saw the viral video out there from Mexico, Lucha Libre. Where one of those thin light tubes went right through the arm of one of the luchadors. You can go out and duck, duck, go it. Don't use Google. Look at this insanity. And that luchador is literally impaled in his left arm with one of the tubes that went right through it. Again, I don't agree with this kind of wrestling. I was in a 10-man barbed wire match with Homicide and Jason Knight and Balls Mahoney and Ron Zombie and Low Life Louis Ramos and Bull Dread, uh, uh, Flying uh, Fred Curry, Rocket Curry, Kurt Adonis. Fire, thumbtacks, barbed wire, baseball bats. I certainly didn't enjoy it, and I don't know if I would ever do it again. And we did it in a wrestling ring and actually had wrestling maneuvers in between. This is pure insanity. Chaos, if you will. It reminds me of being behind the walls once again, where I served my 25 years protecting society. From society's worst. And this is kind of like that, even though it is predetermined. This is entertainment, fans. Let's not lose sight of this. But what they're doing in there is reality. Appreciate it for what it is. Well, you don't have to appreciate it at all. I don't give a fuck. I'm just bringing you some different content. A distraction from the insanity of this world as we are in the fall of 2024. Heading into the election, the holiday season. As I watch this, stay safe, stay aware. Head on a swivel, like-minded people. Be prepared for what potentially is coming. Konichiwa, bitches. As you know, these death matches are huge over in Japan and that culture. Here in this country as well, all over the country. Backyard wrestling, hardcore wrestling, death match, whatever you want to call it. I don't agree with it. And I'll say it here on my channel. But I can appreciate the work that's being done. 
it is a form of entertainment for as dangerous as it is and make no mistake about it this is dangerous anything can happen one wrong move one slight miss we've seen it all over the world and what can happen in these types of matches two huge men both well over 350 pounds and the other two grapplers uh, whatever they are are probably about uh, i don't know 210 each here we go There are no words. This man is a man on fire, the angel of death. The most extreme Irishman I have ever met in my life. Oh, the Kruger connection. Saw two, but now they both got him there. He is between a rock and a hard place. He was all water and a rock. Big botch there. He missed the dive. He missed that dive. And that's the risk you take. Fans, kids. Well, this isn't a kid's channel because I have the block on. Don't try this at home. Don't try it anywhere. At least get trained in, in this type of carnage. And I don't know how you can train for it. You just got to be a sick fuck. I resemble that remark. What do you think, Austin? What do you think, Jen? Fans, IWC? Wow. Like uh, Jim Cornette would say, this is definitely outlaw mud wrestling, outlaw pro wrestling garbage wrestling whatever you want to call it and i'm not disrespecting the competitors in the ring i'm giving you my viewpoint it is my channel if you don't like it fucking change it i respect all four of these men may not agree with what they're doing and how they're portraying our industry it's all about supply and demand you hear the crowd. You see that it's capacity filled. So there's a market for it, uh, unfortunately. I just pray no one gets hurt. And I mean that. And that's a shoot. Unnecessary risks for minimal money. This is what things have come to in certain aspects of this industry. Where's the... Uh, state uh, wrestling commissions on all this to approve it that's what i don't like how does this get approved i'm just saying hear me out i tell it like it is There it is. Put it in the books. What carnage. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you to all the competitors who sacrificed themselves for this. Wow, what else can you say after this match, this video?
really nothing left to say. Come on back, fans. I have plenty of more material, plenty of more in-ring action. And the two behemoths are going at it. All right, fans, I'll say that to say this after this. Don't you dare miss it. 